Hey guys, George here from MyNaturalHerniaCure.com and I wanted to put this video together for you guys today to answer a question that I get asked all the time which is what is the proper standing posture if you have an inguinal hernia to be able to keep the hernia in. Um, I learned this a while back from uh, Kelly Starrett from the book called uh, Becoming a Supple Leopard and there's tons of stuff in there about posture and mobility and all kinds of stuff like that and um, this is what I figured out works best for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to, when you're getting ready to stand, you want to think from the ground up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my feet situated directly underneath my shoulder blades. Okay? Once my feet are directly under my shoulder blades, I want to make sure that they're nice and straight. You don't want them pigeon-toed and you don't want them duck, duck feet like this. You want them nice and straight. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to screw my feet into the ground. Just like this a little bit. I'm just going to put some tension on to get my basically uh, that what that's going to do is that's going to open your arches up and it's and you're going to have to use your glutes in order to make that motion with that that screwing into the ground motion. You once you squeeze once your glutes are squeezed, you're going to pull your pelvis posteriorly so to the back this way and that's going to cause you to want to tighten your stomach up. Get your shoulders over top of your pelvis and your head over top of your shoulders in a nice straight line. You want your, your most of your weight to be basically, you don't want to be lean too far back on your heels and you don't want to be too far lean back up on your toes. You want to have your body weight over top of your arches of your feet. Okay, so now you're, you're bracing your glutes, that's pulling your pelvis posteriorly. You got your stomach that's tightened up now, you got your shoulders stacked on top of the pelvis, you got your head stacked on top of the shoulders. Nice straight line. Now you can let the glutes go to about 20%, hold the muscles about 20%, and let the stomach go. You don't want to let the stomach go all the way, but you want to keep it engaged just enough to kind of hold yourself in that nice straight position. So this is, that's, that's the basics of it. This is how, when I'm standing at my desk, this is how I stand. Now I don't stand like this for you know, five hours at a time. I might, you know, stand, I get, in the, I get in this position, I make sure that my posture's right, and then maybe, you know, after a little while, I'll move around, I'll be at my desk, and I'll be doing, like, some of this stuff, and I'll, be, I'll widen my stance out, and kind of move back and forth like this, to try and get my, try and get my hips moving. You know, I just don't like to be stagnant, standing around all day long. So that's it, guys, and, um, this does say, take some practice, you know, when you're standing in line at the store or anytime you're just kind of standing around, just kind of put it in your mind that you're going to think about this and, and, and like I said, start from the ground up and work up all the way up to your head and make sure that that posture is right and what that's going to do is that's going to get all the musculature in the right position and, and holding correctly in order to hold the hernia in the best way. This is how I did it and uh, it works for me. So hopefully it works for you guys too. So do me a favor and like this video. Make sure you check out my website, MyNaturalHerniaCure.com. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you hit me up. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.